Hello, I'm Henry with Digital FOV, maker of Digital Crosshairs. Digital Crosshairs is a night vision clip-on. It attaches to any scope and converts it into a digital day or night vision scope. It actually is a clip-on unit. It's a low light, high resolution infrared camera that simply mounts to the eyepiece of your scope and converts your scope into a digital night vision scope which I should talk about a lot later. Infrared night vision, digital infrared night vision, all works the same way. I don't care who makes it. It's all an uh, infrared camera, an infrared camera board that's looking through optics. Here I have one that's mounted onto a lens. This is the lens we use. We use a large format high quality, high definition lens. This is a good quality infrared night vision camera that we're using. But well, this is the heart of all digital night vision systems. <clears throat> Ours is housed in this unit, it's rubber. It'll mount on any scope, okay? It's, it's sturdy, it's waterproof. It just mounts over the eyepiece of your scope, looks down the barrel of your scope, and displays your scope's field of view on a rail mounted display. This display comes with the kit. And that's how our system works. Now you can get uh, ATN or you can get uh, another company's dedicated night vision scope and they're a lot of fun to use, but they're dedicated to one gun. You mount it on a gun, you zero it in, and that's your night vision gun. With our system, it's really easy to move it from one gun to another. And a lot of our customers um, they have good quality glass optics on their guns, or they have a scope just, just zeroed in on their gun. Um, they use it, they like using their glass optics during the day, um, but they want to do some night vision hunting. With our system, you can mount it on any scope in less than a minute um, and take that same gun and your night vision hunting with it. So all your whole hunting closet, your crossbow, um, your overrunners, your AR formats, even if you want to put it on, you know, one of my favorite toys is, is this little AR pistol, I can mount it on that, um, or I can take the same system and I can mount it on my air gun. So I can do some air gun shooting in the backyard at night or during the day with this system. Um, then I can take the same system off of this gun and I can, I, I can mount it I can mount it on my Grendel. I use that for hog hunting at night, coyote hunting. So our system is very versatile like that. So if you got Vortex, Nikon, Leopold, good scopes, Bushnell scopes, your gun's already zeroed in, you can use that gun during the day with your glass optics, and at night you can mount this system on in less than a minute and your night vision hunting with it. One of the keys to our system is our mounts. Let me show you. Our system fits on a Picatinny rail. Okay, it makes it so easy. So easy. This system, I'll show you back here with this one. You got your illuminator. Okay, this is an 850 nm long range infrared illuminator. It's focusable. So I can have a tight beam for a long throw, or I can have a wide beam for something that's closer. Okay, and you can get your display. That's where you're gonna see the actual reticle from your scope. It's on, it's on this mount. So you're just taking this, and you're mounting it on a Picatinny rail. You're clipping on the, the camera. See, it just simply, mounts over the eyepiece of your scope get around to the other side see it just slips on the eyepiece of your scope and this is all rubber it comes with these rubber spacers so you're going to use whichever one is appropriate they're different sizes whichever one is appropriate for the size of your eyepiece and it's just got a clamp and you simply put it over the eyepiece and you're going to tighten it up. And this just connects to 
to your battery pack. I don't have a battery pack on this gun yet. Here's the battery pack. There's a battery in it. The battery's got an on off switch right here. And that's how you turn the system on and off with that switch. Now you take this battery pack and I can simply mount it over the stock of my gun. It's very simple. It comes with these Velcro straps, so it's easy to put it on or take it off. And I can mount that right on the stock of the gun. I've mounted the illuminator and display on the rail. And then they have these four pole connectors. It doesn't matter which one I plug into the eyepiece or the display. I just plug them up and turn it on and I'm done. And then what I'm going to do, as you can see that, is I'm going to just adjust this so that the crosshairs are centered and tighten it up. Now, the way you, you focus the system is you adjust the eye relief on your scope to the crosshairs are clear. And then you just mount that on there and tighten it up. You know, how simple is that? So what our system does, it allows you to use your existing glass optics during the day, your good glass optics. And then at night, um, you can just mount this system. Another key to our system is it's not only night vision, where it's not on this Barska scope using this illuminator, I can see um, a little over 200 yards in total darkness at night. But at twilight, at dusk and dawn, there's a lot of ambient light in the environment that our eyes can't see. Well, this system, the camera boards that we use in this system are extremely low light boards. The lenses we use are extremely low light lenses. So with this system configuration, at dusk and dawn, you're going to be able to see hundreds of yards into the shadows because there's a lot of ambient light in the environment that your eyes can't see. I may be repeating myself that your eyes can't see, but this system can see it. And I'll show you some video of a coyote that I filmed with this system. It was about a quarter to nine at night um, a couple weeks ago. Um, I couldn't see it with my eyes because it, it, was, it was dark, it was dusk, and, you know, you got the shadows. But with this system, it was clear as day. Day. And that's without the illuminator, without using the illuminator. So that, that's how our system mounts. Uh, it's very easy to mount. You can put it on an AR, you can put on an air gun, you can put an AR pistol. I put on my Bernelli shotgun. I can put it on a crossbow. You can mount it on virtually anything. It can handle any level of recoil. <clears throat> Digital crosshairs on my Benelli shotgun.
Now, when I was describing the system, I was telling you how it mounts on the Picatinny rail adapter. Well, you might say, well, this scope and that scope and this scope over here, they got rails on the mounts. Um, but my scope doesn't have any rails on it. No problem. The kit comes with the Picatinny rail adapter. I guess you can see this right here. It comes with this Picatinny rail adapter. You just simply mount that on your scope, okay? You do not have to take your scope off your gun to mount this. Once you put that rail adapter on your gun, it's very easy to mount the system on your scope. This is not a proprietary mount. You can get them on the internet. Uh, we sell them on our website. You can buy them at a good gun store. Okay, it's just a Picatinny rail adapter. Um, so it makes it really easy. I put one of those on all my scope rifles or crossbows that I ever intended to use. That way, when I want to mount the digital crosshairs, boom, clip it on the, the, the mount, clip the eyepiece here, strap the battery pack on. It's that simple. I want to show you here um, another way you can mount it. The traditional way I've been showing people, but look at here. We've mounted it on a side rail with this AR pistol. The scope has a side rail on it here, and I can mount it on the side. So then when I'm shooting, I'm actually targeting just by looking at it on the side there. It's really a cool way to shoot. Um, I could actually mount it on a side rail four if I had a rail here. I could mount it on this AR on a Ford rail. So it gives you a lot of flexibility in how you can mount the system um, since it just it's a rail mounted system. I could take the illuminator and I could actually mount the illuminator down here on a rail. The illuminator doesn't have to be on the top. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. This system is very flexible. Um, so you can mount it on just about any weapon that has a scope. If you've got a rail system, hey, you can be creative. The digital crosshairs comes with a battery pack and a harness, wiring harness. The battery slides in. So you get extra batteries, you just slide in, slide out. We sell extra battery for about $40 plus shipping and handling. Um, so you can get extra batteries. But this battery will run about six to seven hours on one charge. That's continuously running. Um, but since it's an instant on system, you really um, don't have to leave your system on all the time. You can just turn it off when you're not hunting and turn it back on when you're hunting. See, it comes right on, turn it off, turn it on, it comes right on. There's no warm-up time um, like a lot of systems or like a cell phone. You turn them on, they got to go through some initiation process um, before they start. No, not with this. You get out the truck, turn it on, go hunt, um, turn it off when you're done with it. One of the nice things about this battery pack is extremely lightweight. The battery pack, the battery, the wiring harness, it weighs about six and a half ounces all together. Let me put it on the scale here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Down there. 6.4 ounces. Extremely lightweight. Digital Crosshairs comes in two models, Digital Crosshairs 1000 and Digital Crosshairs 1000R. The difference is Digital Crosshairs 1000R records. The Digital Crosshairs 1000 has a battery pouch in the flap, there's nothing in there. With Digital Crosshairs 1000R, inside this battery pouch, we have a small high-def DVR recorder. You can turn it on here, it's got its own battery source. Um, you press the one button over here and it'll start recording. Press it again, it'll stop recording. Um, and it fits right inside the battery pouch like that. 
Now another thing you can do with this, you can take it out when you're using it, and you can put it on the Velcro on the outside, like that, and it makes it easier to access the start and turn it on while you're hunting or shooting with it. Um, and then when you're done, you can just take it and you can put it back on the inside, um, which protects it while you're traveling. Now this is the same um, technology that they use in the drone industry. These small, high definition, lightweight DVR recorders. So that's the difference in Digital Crosshairs 1000 and Digital Crosshairs 1000R. 1000R records to a little micro SD chip that you can put in your computer, put in your laptop, put in your tablet, um, play back, share your video. It records everything that the scope sees and it also records sound. That's Digital Crosshairs 1000R. Okay, I'm going to wait for no 300 blackout on our rabbit. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. You think we can get any closer? Wow. Which one? When you order digital crosshairs, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get a complete kit. So let's open the box.
first thing on top of the box is you're going to get an instruction manual. Now inside the instruction manual, you're going to see these red um, sheets. These are actually screen protectors. You can peel it off, you can put it over the display on the targeting display, and it gives it a, a red and black tint instead of a, a white or gray and black tint. I'll show you one. Now this is the display, it just has the red screen protector on it. So if you're sitting in a field stand, you're sitting in a stand, you got walls around you, you might want to use one of these because it'll prevent the light from your display from reflecting off the walls. If you're out in the field or in an open area, I wouldn't use it. Let's open it up. Okay, first thing you see in here is you're going to get the clip-on. Now the clip-on comes with these different spacers, rubber spacers. Use whichever one is appropriate for the size of the eyepiece of your camera. You're also going to get a long-range infrared illuminator. It's 850 nms. It's focusable, so I can have a tight beam for that long throw, or I can have a wide, wide beam for something that's closer. Comes with a mount, fits on Pictini rail. The display fits right in this hole here. These run on 18650 lithium batteries. We give you two of them. We give you two of them, and they're rechargeable. And we also give you a recharger for those batteries. This is the recharger. It comes in the kit to recharge your batteries for your display. I mean, I'm sorry for your illuminator. Uh, this is the power pack. Power pack has a battery in it, on-off switch. It's got the wiring harness in it. This battery pack will run the system for um, six to seven hours on one charge. The batteries, they just they just slide right in. So if six to seven hours isn't long enough, you can get an extra battery from us for just 40 bucks. You also get the display. Okay. This is the display. Um, this is your targeting display. Also in the box, you're going to get a Picatinny rail adapter. This will fit a 1 inch or a 30 millimeter scope tube. The Picatinny rail adapter, I don't know if you can see it through the plastic or not. I'm not going to take it out, but I showed this to you earlier. It just fits on your scope, and then you can mount your display and your illuminator right there on the Picatinny rail adapter. Let me put this back in the box here. Now some of the optional things you can get, um, this system is a night vision system. It doesn't filter any infrared light. So we have an optional daylight filter. This daylight filter can fit right into the eyepiece clip on. It slides right in there. Okay, and it'll filter the infrared light during the day. So you get a nice um, clear high def um, color images. We want this You'll get a black and white image during the day, and it may have some distorted colors because of the infrared light. But if you use this filter, it'll correct for that. Most of my shooters are only using it at night, so this isn't important to everyone, but some people use it during the day, and I recommend getting one of these filters. You can buy them on the website. The other optional piece, you can get an extension. Okay, these are extensions that just extend the range of your display from the gun okay so I was showing you how this just simply fits on a Picatinny rail adapter I'm gonna take it off here and as you can see here I've got four I've got four of these 12 foot extensions I'm not gonna unwrap them but your four 12 foot extensions connected here and if I turn the system on I can still see my crosshairs. So these 12 foot extensions, you can get them on the internet. I got some hunters who just set their gun up on a, on a tripod and they have it on their truck set up on a tripod and they can sit back and they can just view the display right here. Then when they see something come out near the, their food plot or where they got some corn or something laid out, they can just pop this back on the gun
and they're ready to take their shot. So, like I said, I've got a whole bunch of these on here. Um, most people they probably wouldn't use for one. If I can take them all off and plug this back up here, and there it is, ready to go. So that's the kit. Um, that's what you get out of the box. The other thing, it's not in the box what we gave you. We give you a three-year warranty for parts and labor. Um, these are supported um, out of Stone Mountain, Georgia. We take pride in good customer service. So if you got any questions, um, just give us a call.